our female cheetah here at the sanctuary. And we're joined by Ricky hello. and James over here. Morning. And of course, Harry behind the camera. So hello, hello Harry. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Yes, so today on International Cheetah Day, uh, Willow, who is the mascot for the DS to Cheetah team as well. Fabulous new season starting for those guys with our logo still sitting proud on the top of the car and racing around the track for their seventh season and hopefully four times champions. We want to make them today. Uh, Jeff, our ambassador, is coming to visit us today here at the Sanctuary as well, ladies and gentlemen. So all exciting stuff going on on International Cheetah Day, obviously supporting conservation guys like CCF out there, Cheetah Outreach and others. Uh, supporting their work out in the wild, but providing a safety net for the cheetah population with cats like Willow, who are in the breeding programme. But today, uh, Ricky, what are we going to do with Willow the cheetah today, please? So we are going to be doing a little, a little mini training session with Willow. Um, we have daily contact with her to benefit us in looking after her medically, possibly her husbandry. Um, but we're doing a little just a reinforcement session just to get her used to stationing and then hopefully laying down and holding position on command which is going to allow us to do a little bit more in-depth work hopefully in the future. Wonderful, wonderful, thanks. We're going to be nice and close up ladies and gentlemen. We apologise if there's a bit of wind around here. It's a windy day here at the Big Cat Sanctuary so we hear a bit of wind rushing by. That is just the the outdoors that we are in here. We are still in lockdown at the moment. Uh, we're obviously waiting to see if we can reopen up before Christmas uh, to see if we can get back. Uh, if you're from Kent, of course, register on the website for some special offers just for those guys that are living in Kent who can still come and visit us uh, soon. We hope, so uh, get your name down on the list and hopefully we'll send you a special offer. But for now, fantastic. We're gonna watch this training session with Willow. So, Ricky, why do we do these sorts of training sessions with these guys? It helps us manage and look after the cats better. Um, it gives the cats something really, really uh, engaging to think about because because we're asking certain behaviours of them and they always get rewarded for it. So it's always something nice um, for them to participate in. And it's totally up to them if they do want to participate. So, um, Willow in the past has been really, really keen for training sessions. So we'll see if she wants to be as involved as I'm hoping she's going to be. Let's see how she does. good to see James is that all of this is on Willow's terms you know, she seems really calm and happy the whole time so she's just enjoying the sort of interaction as well yeah I know it's great um, as part of all of the positive reinforcement training that we do with the cats it really is on their own terms exactly the same as when we're doing hand feeds or any other activities with them um, if they don't want to do it then they're not going to but as you can see very positive response from 
having a little bit of a treat of a little bit of meat for every bit that she does correctly. So, wonderful. So. And as good as the training is, it's also really good enrichment for her as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, she's getting a lot of out, out of this as well, as well as us being able to sort of make sure she's in a, in a, in a calm way so that we can do all these health checks. Yeah, she's actually, she's really enjoying it. So uh, it's really good for her as well. Amazing, actually. It's great to see when she's walking now or standing up, reaching up with her neck or stretching out her legs. You can really see the fantastic body shape of the cheetah, all those adaptations, the slender body, sleek head, narrow pointed heads and arrow everything built for speed and agility for these cats even down to that tail at the end which is a big heavy rudder that helps them change direction on the chest and layer and there you go just to demonstrate how quickly she can move once she's got her jackpot at the end so fantastic ricky she did really well there she was positively. really really good we have not been able to do as much training uh, over this lockdown period just because we've been quite um, quite busy, obviously. Mm. Um, so we've not done training for a while, but she was fantastic just then, doing everything I asked of her. Still getting used to the behaviours like laying down. But she likes to do it on her station, but she's really solid with going back to that station when, when asked, which is, is really good. And sort of, uh, Ricky, how long has it taken you to get to that point that you are w with her today? Um, I started training with her probably about six months to a year ago but maybe doing a session once every week or every two weeks um, just because of everything else we've had going on, especially this year. Uh, so she actually does learn very, very quickly. The reason why we wanted to station initially is because of where she's such a uh, friendly and uh, engaging cat, and obviously she is hand-rid. She is hand-rid on big cats about the house. Um, she likes to come and see what we're up to. So when we're entering the enclosure uh, to give her her contact sessions, we wanted to, I wanted to get her to a point where she's not waiting at the gate, she waits on her station so that we can enter the enclosure and uh, reward her for that. And it's worth a really good one. Yeah, she's indeed a really great, great reaction to that. So, fantastic. Thanks for showing us through. So, uh, we've talked about it being International Cheetah Day and supporting the work of the Cheetah Conservation Fund, Cheetah Outreach, all the guys that are working out here. So, Willow is, 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 is going to be in the breeding programme, isn't she, Ricky? Yes, so she's part of the International Breeding Programme for Southern Cheetahs, which are one of the four subspecies out of Cheetah. Um, she's about three, nearly three and a half years old, so at that point where her body will start, start to um, become mature and an adult. So hopefully in the, in the not too distant future, we may be looking at getting breeding recommendations from her, which will be really exciting. And even more vital, I think, increasingly so for uh, cheetahs like Willow to be part of that breeding programme, to be a safety net, because cheetahs are facing, facing much more threats out in the wild now, aren't they? Yeah, there's, they're, they're actually Africa's most threatened species of wildcat, which is really sad, uh, yet they're an iconic species that everyone has heard of. Um, so not only is there the usual things like habitat loss, um, fragmentation because of our growing population but there are there's conflicts with livestock farmers um, there's unfortunately uh, pet trade issues as well where cheetahs are such a, more of a laid-back species i wouldn't say they're tame or they're friendly but they are more laid-back than other large cats um, they're seen as trophy pets especially in certain parts of the world so lots and lots of young cheetahs are um, smuggled out of parts of africa and then into other areas of the world um, Well, it's fantastic to see these guys here and for some, a cat like Willow to be doing her training you see her up close it's amazing but that's an important role that they play part of the breeding program a safety net but also an ambassador here at the sanctuary and as the mascot for DS to Cheetah we work with our partners like that to try and raise money to give the welfare of the breeding program that works here but also direct action conservation on the ground through organizations like the Cheetah Conservation Fund and we're working hard to try and raise money for them. So every time you donate, support, give money to us, um, that's gonna go and help look after the wonderful animals like Willow, but also, yes, help us give money to help save the cheetahs. Hashtag save the cheetah, and please help us donate if you can, support us as we remain in lockdown, but try to carry on protecting amazing animals like this into the future. Thank you, Ricky, thank you, James and Harry behind the camera. And thank you to all everyone up there uh, for watching. Uh, this is going to be our last live out to everybody broadcast for the moment. We're going to go back to our supporters uh, for these lives in the future. So if you want to catch up with what's going on behind the scenes at the Sanctuary, then please join up to our Facebook Supporters Club. Uh, subscribe there and you'll get even more of these live broadcasts going forward.
there's been more surprises in store. After we go to Christmas, we've got our Christmas raffle still running and we've got uh, the Christmas store open for presents if you haven't got them yet. So all things you can do to help support us here at the Big Cat Sanctuary. But for now, from everyone here and all our cats, thanks again for visiting. Stay safe. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.